Greetings to all. I, Ankita Rotela Kuria, Principal Espalier Heritage School. Warmly welcome our IC committee members and distinguished members from CBSC board to our virtual inspection. This video is made as a prior video to be sent to the IC members. I warmly welcome our IC committee members T. Augustine Sir, Principal Ashram Public School, Kakinada, Andhra Pradesh and B. Chakrapani Sir, Principal Jawahar Navodaya Vidyale, Adilabad. So now I am standing at the entrance of our school. This is the main gate. As you can see, on the right hand side is the parking area of the school. I am going to enter the school from the security cabin here. As you can see, the name of the school along with the affiliation number and the school coat has been put right at the center. Now, as I am going to walk inside, you are now going to enter the serene, beautiful campus of Espalier Heritage School. In the lap of nature, this school has been made nature friendly. So now we are going to enter inside and you can see the beautiful campus. At the entrance, if we are going to zoom on the school main building is the school name displayed. The school has been designed in view that it serves as a teaching aid. In the exterior also there are many fascinating features. This is a sculpture which depicts the self-made man. I am going to quickly take you towards the right side. It's drizzling here after a long wait. Now the monsoon has finally arrived in Nasik. So we must be happy but because of this we were not able to shoot the video earlier. So I will quickly walk towards the school playground area. As suggested by NEP, we already have the concept of farming which has been integrated in our school curriculum. So on the right hand side, this is the school farm. Our children have a farming period in their timetable and they come here and they practice different steps of farming. So as I walk along, I am going to request the camera person to please show the school boundary wall which runs along the periphery and covers the entire campus. It's a 12 feet high boundary wall with barbed wires. In view is the school playground. It's a vast expanse of land. In the center you can see uh, the football court with the goal post on two sides. Also flying high are the different flags of the houses, different houses of the school. This track is of 200 meter, that is the standard required. All the athletic events are conducted on this track. Children love the sports day and all the sports activities that are organized here. Now I'm going to walk back so now I am standing on the basketball court. Since it is raining, it is all filled with puddles of water. Uh, behind is the multi-utility uh, playground. The students from the junior classes mostly come and play here. It's a safe zone for them where they play and relax. A number of uh, games are organized here on the grass playground for them so that they do not get hurt. At the same time, they build upon their stamina. Now after taking the round of all the exteriors of the school building, let me go inside the school campus. I am going to walk ahead from here and walk towards the ramp which gives access to the ground floor. As a part of inclusive education, this is the first step towards inclusion. This is the ramp that connects to the ground floor. Here's the entry sign. It's a wheelchair that is always kept here for anyone who needs it. On the left hand side, I'll just request for a zoom in. This is the vision and the mission of our school. The vision is life is a subject and the result is happiness. And our mission is to provide experiential learning 
to our students. Now let me take you inside through the main entrance here. I'll now move towards the right hand side. Okay, before going inside, uh, this is the emergency contact numbers list right there at the entrance. Also, the first date has been installed if required. So, promptly anyone can pick it up and use it from here. And I was talking about the CPU. So, now we am going to enter to the computer lab. We have a well equipped computer lab. As per the requirements, our computer teachers are there waiting and you can see a full view of all the desktops that have been installed here. So in totality, there are 40 desktop at a time 40 students can do the computer practicals here. All are supported with the UPS and the internet speed of 100 Mbps plus there are two servers. There is a projector on the top supported with the smart board. After the computer lab, I will enter now the language lab. The communication always plays a very important role. And inside as we are going to go, this lab is well equipped with the number of teaching aids for the different languages. The first we are offering German as the third language, as a foreign language. These are the teaching aids with the German teacher here. She is taking German quite well with the students. Students are really enjoying English being the medium of instruction and the first language of the school. We have a number of teaching aids here right from the juniors to the seniors all enjoy the teaching aids. Here is a setup for Hindi and in Maharashtra as Marathi is the compulsory language we have a number of teaching aids to make Marathi more easy and fun learning and this setup is of the SST lab which must be knowing the world around and from near to the far. So you can see a number of teaching aids which supports most of the syllabus covered in the SST books. And now we are going to enter the classroom that reflects the ethos of the school. This is standard 6 classroom. As you can see the seating arrangement. It is very cloudy outside, quite dark but still we can see that it is properly lit and big windows for a proper ventilation. Soft boards to display the creative expressions of the children and a white board here in front. I am also going to ask for help so that we can show the measurement of the classroom. So as we are going to take the length, going to, to the other end that is 25.2 and let us take the breadth This is almost 20 point 3 and so length into breadth the area of the classroom is 511.56 square feet that suffices the standard norms for classroom. Okay, and now I am going to go to the first floor as CBSC talks about inclusive education and ramp is an important part of it. This ramp is the access to the first floor. Now I will ask the cameraman to please zoom in for the ramp and I am going to move ahead.
we are happy to include all the children as a part of inclusive education and this ramp is really beneficial for us in that sense. Now I am on the first floor and I am going to take you to the multipurpose hall. This is a school corridor, it is quite wide and it gives proper access. I am going to go towards the right side. So this is the spacious multipurpose hall. We use it for our functions, school functions and activities. It is an auditorium. We celebrated Ashari. So the backdrop is also there. It's big, spacious and can accommodate all my children. So as CBSC talks about art integrated education, art room is going to be really very important and this is our beautiful art room where a lot of artwork done by the students is already displayed. We also have pottery for our children and very well we have integrated art with the syllabus of the school. So when we talk about art integrated education, it is not only about the art on paper, but also the performing arts that is music. So here is my music room, we have displayed few of the musical instruments that the children can play quite well. So with the rhythm of the music, let us now enter to the soul of the school. And where is the soul of the school? Obviously, it is in the school library, which gives access to a lot of books to our children. This vibrant environment in our library actually focuses their attention and they have a lot of books to read from. These are the different sections as I will request my camera person to please zoom in for the books. There are different kind of books, fiction books, non-fiction, reference sections, teacher's book, reading books, encyclopedias, autobiographies and a lot. I request my librarian to please give me a data of the books that are available. Just read it from here, the total number of books. So, the total number of books here is 3017. a lot of teachers resources so that they can make their lesson plans quite well. We have 15 magazines of the periodicals and 6 dailies coming to school every day. There are 15 periodicals that have been displayed on the rack as well. So though we never want to leave this place, I have to take you to the next spot that will be the girls washroom on the first floor. So now I will be taking you to the girls washroom on the first floor. There is a proper tagging and inside this is the girls washroom. We maintain proper cleanliness and hygiene. For the comfort, we have both the systems of sitting, the western commodes and the Indian system. Also, for hygiene purpose, we have foot operated wash basins. Since this is on the first floor and mostly used by the girls in the higher classes, here only we have made arrangement for the vending machine and to dispose of the biological waste, we have the incinerator as well. Okay, and now I am going to show you the boys washroom on the first floor. As you can see, there are urinals with partitions here. They are all spick and span clean. And as I was talking about the inclusive education, so this is a urinal for the CWSN. There's proper side bars and one on the horizontal side. Again, the Indian system and the Western system both plus the wash basins with the soap dispenser. Mm -hmm. 
and stitching aids play a vital role in understanding and learning. This AV room is one of our very best resources, I will say, which is often used as a teaching aid. Teachers show multiple videos, PPTs here. And now with the books also being supported by QR codes, it is emerging as a beneficial teaching aid for our students. So now from the visual delight, let me take you to the hub of the inquisitive minds, that is our science lab. We promote a lot of curiosity among kids and science lab is the perfect place to quench their thirst for knowledge. So on my right side is our science lab. So as I enter here, this is our composite science lab which comprises of all the three, biology, chemistry and physics stream. Our composite science lab has an area of 648 square feet. On the island, all the material related to science has been displayed. This is the optical bench. This is the electronic parts which has parts of physics. We have kept all the apparatus, all the specimens. required for the practical of CBSC till 10th standard. So zoom in of the human skeleton here. All the biology specimens have been kept on this side. On my right hand side are the specimens here and the microscopes. The burner is also functional and all the glassware required for chemistry practicals has been displayed. So now we are going to move out. Also I like to zoom in towards the fire extinguishers. The fire extinguishers have been installed at various places. I am showing you the one of the science lab fire extinguisher and now I am going to move down and on my way down I am going to show the fire extinguisher and give a close view of it. So as safety plays a vital role, here we can see the evacuation plan also for the school. Everywhere the exit sign has been clearly displayed so that the children are auto trained. Also we have a disaster management committee which trains the children for any disaster. All our fire extinguishers are updated and as you can see the zoom in date this has been refilled on June 23 and the expiry is on June 24. All the fire extinguishers in the whole campus have been recharged. We have a fire hose also. So in case of any emergency, this can also be used to manage any disaster. And now I am going to go down. So inside the school building also I have shown this fire hose and this is the outside setup. Now we are also going to show you the demonstration of it. This is full fledged working system. The water comes with a lot of pressure outside. It is good enough to doze off any fire. It has a lot of pressure. So you can see it can cover a big area and can be helpful to doze off any kind of fire. Now let me show you the source of the clean drinking water in the school. So here we have this water dispenser. We have a RO system so that the children get pure drinking water. They often come here to refill their water bottles as well. Now I will be showing you the wellness hub that is the infirmary of the school. We have a full time doctor with us.
This is a bed in case any child feels giddy or sick. We have all the medicines required. The first aid has been displayed on the board also. This is a portable stretcher. In case if it is required, it can be taken easily to carry the children who require any help. Here is a wheelchair. One more thing I would like to add here. Every day, whenever child complains of any problem, we maintain an infirmary record book. So per day it is maintained and the data is entered every day. The same is communicated to the parents also. Now as I was showing you the wheelchair, let me also show you the CWSM toilet on the ground floor. So this is properly supported with the side bars, the horizontal bar on the wall as well. The door is spacious. So the wheelchair can directly come in. Easy access to the wash basin as well. Let me also show you that how it operates. So it has a lock system. When in use, it has to be pulled down like this. And again, it can be pulled back to its original position. So now I am going to enter the most exciting corridor of the school and you can see the reasons here. There are a number of toys that have been installed on the wall. Children love to play with these toys. They are based on senses or magnetism, electromagnetism. There are multiple empty classrooms here which will be utilized in future. And why this corridor is more interesting to the students is because we have our sports room also. So let me take you to the sports room. Let us enter the sports room. Yes, this vibrant, bright and full of energy. This is our sports room. The sports equipment we have displayed here. Indoor games, table tennis, the hurdles, hula hoops, basketballs, footballs, uh, you can see the setup of archery as well. Recently, we had celebrated the yoga day together on 21st June. Our children are doing yoga also on a daily basis. Plus, a lot of indoor and outdoor games. So, we are trying to abide by the rules that CBSC gives us that sports is a serious business. And if sports is a serious business and play is something serious that is full of tricks, why leave maths behind? Let me now take you to the maths lab. Here the children are taught maths or rather they, ex they are explained the concept of maths with a number of teaching aids. The maths teachers are the favorites of the children. Because in a very fun way, with so many teaching aids, they ma make math easy and fun for our children. So we can see the different kits over here, the fraction kits, ascending and descending, money, polygons, the measurements, and the teachers favorite teaching aid, the big geometry box. We have a number of charts that have been displayed on the wall also. So teachers bring the children here as well and they take the teaching aids to the classroom also for better understandings of the maths concepts. And now I am going to enter the school admin area. Let me go inside. This is the main reception and now I am going to take you to the exam cell that is on my left side. Ajit sir looks after our exam department and uh, all the documents related to exam departments have been displayed here. As you can see this is the grade 10 portfolio. 
okay these are the pedagogical plans which has the paper pattern syllabus exam timetable uh, can be considered in the short term planning these are the exam register we maintain a proper records of all the exams that are being conducted the timetable with the paper pattern and all com communicated to the students mm -hmm. also here this is the record of 22 23 just the outgoing year okay uh, the exam committee is mentioned in here so comprehensive record of all the exams we are following the pattern as proposed by cbsc internal and uh, external internal assessments with subject enrichment multiple assessment student portfolio and pen paper test this is the the set of the question papers for all grades one one copies have been kept here and this is the record of 22 23 also we have conducted bridge course after pandemic also we started the bridge course and this session also we have done the bridge course these are all the papers of bridge course regular preparation and worksheets are given to the students so that they have a thorough preparations for the exams this is a full record of all the worksheets of all the subjects that are provided to the children sorry and also we have something very interesting it is often said that practical exams are for the higher grades but we have for first second third for maths science english and all we have considered this in the observation based test that is obt this is the accounts department and next i am going to show you the school counselors cabin samruti didi she is a school counselor she has a rci certificate and she maintains this if you can zoom in this is her rci certificate she is maintaining a proper record of all the counseling that she is undertaking with the students so the meet, minutes of the meeting with all the students are maintained and we maintain a proper history and they are making a case history for the child to ensure complete safety in the school campus the entire campus is under cctv surveillance and the view is accessible to the full admin and now i am going to take you to my cabin so through the corridors this is the open area which is also used by the admin people it helps us to keep a better check and we are always connected with the students and now i am going to enter my cabin and in sight we have kept all the documents ready which needs to be shown now we have kept all the documents ready one by one i am going to show all the documents i'll start with the school annual calendar which has the list of all the activities monthly activities daily activities clearly mentioned in the school annual calendar based on this all the other documents are maintained i'll start with the activity events file this activity event file is of the last year we where we are going to we are maintaining all the records with the photographs and all of all the activities that are done in the school this is the sports file it is comprehensive file which has a sports lab register sports in and out register whenever the children are going for the sports and games their entries are done and you can see the committee file here so it has a sports committee aim and objectives a detail of all the outdoor games indoor games and even it has a proper record of the school council so this is the working school council right now apart from that all the sports equipment are also maintained in this file this is a file of the competitive exams so in whatever exams the children are participating we have a proper 
list of it and the record of all the mark sheets and the certificates obtained by the children. As I have mentioned during my round, we have a school farm and this is a curriculum of the school farm. A lot of weightage is given to the co-curricular activity. So this is the art dossier which has an extensive planning of all grades drawing. Now this record is pertaining to the students in the school. So this is the GR register. Okay. So it has the detail. After the admission forms are filled, it is having the details of all the students and when the child leaves the school due to any certain reasons, then after obtaining the, after giving the LC, there is a remark for the LC given also. Similarly, for the LC book, I will show you here. This is the LC book. Okay. So, a carbon copy is maintained and the original is handed over to the children. This, this year we had a 10th standard passing out. So the LCs were given to them also. This is a ready LC. Behind we are taking the signature of receiving as well. All the LCs are scanned and the scanned copies are also uploaded in the school website. So it can be checked there as well. This is the daily attendance that is maintained. For all the grades, this is of last year. This year also we are maintaining the same. This is the student participation committee. So this is a record of the recent self-defense training that we have taken. So now since the academic year has just started, I am sure this book is going to be filled in no time. This is the student's achievement record for the last year. Uh, so, whatever accolades the children bring, it is properly documented and shared with the parents as well. Our children are making us proud in various fields. Now, I will come to the staff. So, this is the staff meeting register where all the meetings and the points of the meetings are written. And after taking a meeting, the staff signs for all the minutes of the meeting. As CBSC says competency building program should be a part of the teacher's development. So this is a proper teacher's training record. We also organized the training, a two days training from COE Pune. That was the last training that our teachers have done, strengthening evaluation and assessment practices. Uh, in the world of communication, we maintain all the records of the app messages. We have an ERP system. So all the messages are given to the parents and a copy of it print we save we are trying to go paperless so some documents are also online uh, this is the teachers master register where the teachers sign as they come in also we have a biometric for the staff this is my logbook where i observe the lessons and then give a proper record of it it is duly signed by the teachers teachers Service book is one of the most important document and this is duly maintained in our school. As you can see all the entries are done and every year the remark is given here. So this is first the probation, then confirmed and then continued. Now uh, this is a proxy whenever any teacher is absent then the proxy for the teacher is arranged. So here is the name of the teacher who is absent and then accordingly the teacher on duty. Now I will come quickly to these files that this is the AV room entry whenever the children are taken to the AV lab as I have shown in the previous video then the entries are done for what period and what is being shown to them subject and topic. Then this is similarly the language lab I have already gone in the lab and these are the records of the visits. Similarly, for computer lab, IT resource register, what all is there and this is the record book where the entries for the children are done. This is for the new session. Now, we have started with this and the computer lab practical, whatever practicals are being done, they are also recorded. Now, I will show this section. This is the national curriculum framework. Whatever is being uploaded in the academic website of the CBSC, we try to save one copy 
for us so that we can have a thorough read of it as accordingly for NEP and National Curriculum Framework. We have downloaded this and it is well read by the teachers and the staff including me as well and as CBSC has uh, gi giving a lot of weightage to the health and wellness. So all the manuals also we have downloaded and we are trying to take these activities. Regarding the mental health and well-being, our wellness teacher is taking good care of it. Also, in pertaining to FLN and Nippun Bharat, we also organized the FLN exam. These are all the documents for right of persons with disability. Uh, all the documents are printed and kept in record for assessment. This is a SQUA, latest SQUA that has been downloaded. We have filled the SQUA as a part of the inspection process as well. Here, these are the documents of the library. So, the, these are the issue registers for all the classes. This is grade wise. And this, uh, I'll show here. This is the teacher's exercise register where the teachers, whatever books they are taking, the record of it is maintained side by side. Uh, this is the library in and out register. So, as the teachers or the staff are entering, they are doing the entries here. All the documents in details are kept in the library as well. Also, as we were talking about FLN and we were talking about bridge course, this is the record of the remedials. Whatever, wherever required the children are given remedials and a record of it is maintained that whether they are showing progress. Now I will come to the committees which are really very important for the school. So this is the school management committee. I will request uh, Rishma Didi to please give me a uh, the recorded print paper where the committee is written. This is a POXO committee and prevention of children from sexual abuse. It's a very important aspect and is taken duly. I would like to zoom in this. This is the school management committee. As required, it has two principles of KV and fulfills the norms of the school management committee. I am going to go to the next page. So, as required, 50% are the female members. Uh, after the children, we have organized sessions for good touch, bad touch. Then um, issues related to adolescence and we maintain a proper record of it. Children are continuously made aware of their rights and also how to protect themselves. The same with the Vishaka committee for the female staff. So regularly sessions are being taken for teachers and even our aunties. So they are equipped and they know about their rights and to raise their voice wherever required. These are all the meetings. Uh, after that we have these subject committees. All We have subject committees for all the subjects. There are committees made with the specialized teachers and the coordinators and myself being a part of it. So that a proper planning is done for the upcoming syllabus and uh, requirements. Now this is the transport committee meeting register. So recently we had this training for our drivers and aunties so that they know how to be safe and how to keep themselves and the students safe during their travel, how to make an exit and how to use the fire extinguishers also. Now, this is our grievance redressal committee. Mostly we are thankful that we have less of it but whatever issues they have full right to come to us and voice their opinion. This is it. And this is the parent executive committee. We have representatives uh, from all grades. So parent representative from all grades. Now I'll come to the discipline committee. This is the committee that we have now renewed for 22-23. Obviously we started with the reopening and all terms and conditions, roles and responsibilities required. Very soon we are going to have the school elections also. Disaster management committee as I was on the round I was mentioning about it where I talked even about the school evacuation plan. So this disaster management committee also is doing drills frequently. So that the children are also aware that in times of any calamity or disaster, how we were lucky that we even have this specialized team coming to us and training our children for disaster management. All our staff has been trained for the usage of fire extinguisher. This I mentioned in the transport as well. This is the art and the cultural events. Now these are all the new committees, renewed committees for this year as we have just started the session. So we, recently we had this yoga day. We celebrated the school reopening. Then we had this yoga day. Uh, children were very happy to come back to school. Then we had this yoga day. 
and the talent hunt has been organized. So we maintain a proper record of it. HOS committee, as I was mentioning in the lab, so all the HOS practicals are also uh, recorded in the print so that it can be used further also for reference. Maths lab register, and this is the drill I was talking about the transport. So this is recorded where the drivers and the aunties were given a proper training for how to be safe and how to keep the children safe. This is the demonstration of the fire extinguishers. Now I'll quickly show you the jotting registers. These are the daily jotting which the uh, teachers are maintaining. So a lot of it all the teachers are making it. So full staff is making these jottings and I'll just go I just wanted to show all but I'll go in detail for one what are the columns in it so as you can see as we are now following learning topics learning objectives and outcome and what experiential learning the teacher is providing in the classroom this is written daily by the teachers and then this is these are the attendance masters I'll show it here I'll show it here so now just for the month of June this these entries have been done on the day of inspection, that will be the last day of the month, they will be doing their calculations. So now I am going to show you the mandatory disclosures which have also been mailed. But I am going to ask my camera person to zoom in and we are going to start zooming in the mandatory disclosures as required by CBSC. This is the file of the mandatory documents. Now we are going to zoom in here so that you can have a clear view. The first document is of NOC of CBSC by the government of Maharashtra. The next is the RTE valid till 2025. This is the document here. Next, this is the land certificate as per the CBSC bylaws. This is the fire NOC. School health and sanitation certificate. School permission under Maharashtra Self Finance Establishment Act. Irada Patra by Deputy Director of Education. All government documents in Maharashtra in Marathi language and the English translation has been attached along with. This is the first school recognition certificate. Building safety certificate. These are the lease documents. Now I am going to show you the details for the salaries. These are the salary slips. This is a sample of the appointment letter issued by the school after appointment to the teachers. This is the original FT in the name of CBSC as a security deposit. This is the budget. These are the salary sheets. These are the PF chalans. This is for the month of April, May. This is the professional tax details. And these are the salary sheets that are made every month. All the salaries are through the bank transactions. So these are the bank statement where it is clearly reflected. This is all. Sure. Thank you so much. Looking forward to meet you on the day of VIOS that is 30th June Friday at 9 a.m.